What is marginal thinking? From an economist's perspective, making choices involves making decisions at the margin or making it on an edge. That is, making decisions based on small changes in resources. For example, how should I spend the next hour? Or how should I spend the next dollar? Making decisions on the margin does have some distinct advantages. It leads to the more favorable decision being made according to our personal preferences, constraints, and available resources. From an analytical point of view, it makes problems less messy as we are not trying to analyze a million decisions at once. Let us bring this into a practical scenario which shows us how marginal thinking can affect a person. Here, we see that player A and B are basketball players that dominate on the courts. Hence, they are very popular and they get invited to many events. Here, we see that player A and B are invited to a party. They both make a choice on the margin. A chooses not to go, B does. However, the choice they make on the margin is very important as each decision has an opportunity cost. To player B, the opportunity and marginal cost of not going to the party is high. He prefers to have fun right now than to study and get a good grade. On the other hand, player A chooses to stay home and continue his studies. Player B evidently fails the test, while player A passes the test with an A. However, rather than learning from his mistake, player B continues to live life like there's no tomorrow. This caused player B to end up with a mediocre job, a mediocre car, and a mediocre house, and ultimately, a mediocre life. And eventually, he lost all of his basketball skills. Player A graduates from Harvard, buys a nice car and house, while eventually building a successful phone company. And yes, He's still good at basketball. The lesson learned is when applying marginal thinking, make sure to choose what is best. In this case, studying proved to be marginally better than partying.